Hey everyone and welcome back to another training video. This time I want to share with you some tips and tricks I picked up along the way on my number one most used app, Google Photos. It's safe to say that taking photos is easier than ever. From selfies to skylines, capturing your moments and sharing them with the world is but a click away. And when you have as many photos as I do, it becomes even more important to have these organized properly, searchable and shareable with the people you trust and safe and secure with the people you don't. And this is where Google Photos comes in. You get unlimited storage in high resolution for free. Just think about that for a second. As many photos as you could possibly hope to take stored on the cloud for as long as you like. No more waiting for the perfect shot or deleting nearly as good photos. All of your photos can be stored in up to 16 megapixel resolution for as long as you like. Oh, but Nathan, I take more videos than I do photos. Doesn't matter, videos are included too. So no more swapping out SD cards or finding a shared computer to upload. Shoot it all on your phone and Google will upload it to the cloud in up to 1080p resolution. And as an added bonus, if you do like to shoot in a higher resolution, Google Photos can automatically resize these and still keep the originals on your phone. It's a win-win. And once your content is backed up, you can access it across all of your devices, just like with your other Google services. And for me, this is perfect because it means that I can share my memories from wherever I am. All I need to do is sign into Google Photos with my Google account. Android, iOS, web browser, it doesn't matter. Now, of course, your photos and videos can stay on your device, but the beauty of it is they shouldn't have to. You'd want to use that space for something else, right? Not only can Google Photos automatically upload your media to the cloud, but once it is up there, you can free up all of that potential space. Head over to the menu and click free up space option. And this is going to search through all of your media to find what's been safely secured on the cloud and then remove it from your phone. And as an added bonus, as long as you're connected to the internet, you still have immediate access to all of this media straight from the app. Okay, so what about searching photos? I certainly don't want to be searching through them page by page. And half the time, I can't remember the date they were taken anyway. Well, thanks to Google Photos machine learning, this doesn't matter either. First, your photos are automatically organized and not just by date and location, but by things and people and colors and shapes. Try searching for cat and dog in the search bar and see how many photos you've uploaded of your furry friends. You can search for multiple things and even emotions. Try putting a smiley face emoji in there and see how many happy people are looking back at you. It's powerful stuff. Now you've found your long lost perfect photo and you want to share it. Now, luckily, Google Photos makes this easy and you've got a bunch of options to choose from. You could create a shared album and this is a great way for your family and friends to add their own content as well. Or you could share separate photos individually, either to people or through social media and messaging apps. Or you could create a live album. A live album steps things up a notch. First, you choose the people and the pets you want to see and Google Photos will automatically add this content into an album. This is great because it means you're not sharing the same stuff with the same people over and over again. Whether it's your kids with the grandparents or pictures of your pup, you can rest assured they will get them automatically. And finally, let's not forget viewing your photos. With Nest Hub and Nest Hub Max, Google Photos turns your display into a digital photo frame. Just select the albums you want to see and Google Photos will show these whenever you walk by. And I'm telling you, it's a great way to relive some of those not to be forgotten memories. And if you've got a Chromecast, you can do the same thing on the big screen as well. You can even cast your photos, videos and albums directly from the app. And this is a perfect way to show off your latest adventure. And that is it, my favorite feature rundown of the glorious Google Photos. I hope you enjoyed the video. Drop us a thumbs up if you did, it really does help. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all our latest content. Thanks.